here is the uh, the unicorn. Hey, his team in Germany was the unicorn. The unicorn's a big part. Moritz Bullringer, we told you about the German wide receiver, right? We did this all in the past, and we told you that he was going to get drafted. He learned about football in Germany, watching on YouTube. He decided to play. Turns out he's pretty good. The story, though, about how he got drafted actually was the fun part. Mike Zimmer, Rick Spielman. We got Mobo sitting right here with us. He's 6'4", 230-something. He couldn't be a nicer guy, well-spoken. You like length. You like toughness. He ran 4'4", 3. Let's hear his name come off the clock, all right? Thank you. Uh, thank you, and yeah, thank you, because it actually happened. This was, hands down, my favorite moment of the draft. Because with a Vikings hat, he's wearing a Vikings hat, sixth round 180, people. With the 180th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Moritz Boringer, oh, hey, wide receiver hey, from Germany. Hey, hey, Skull Vikings. Hey. <laughs> yes. Mobo. Mobo. Yeah. Spielman. <laughs> yeah. He's got his Vikings hat on. He's a Viking. <laughs> the Viking. Look, that's why it is the world's greatest reality show. Right? I mean, yeah, actually talented people on a big stage. <laughs> yeah, that's just like rats in a cage on other reality shows. And, and here is the comp. That's quite a comp. Mike Evans, Bucky DJ. If he could be Mike Evans, I'll tell you what. What, Andrew, if he can be Mike Evans, uh, one thing I know is that the, the competition, Mobo's got a little bit of an adjustment, the <laughs> SEC versus the Germany tape that we saw here, Bucky. But when we watched him, we saw somebody that dominated that lower level of competition, Bucky. But all the challenges he's going to have coming over here and starting with the Minnesota Vikings in minicamp, what can the expectation be? I, I think this is a two-year project for the Minnesota Vikings, trying to get him up to speed. If I'm the Minnesota Vikings, I understand that he's a height, weight, speed specimen. I'm trying to bring him in and really teach him the nuances of the game. To be fair, they have one of the best wide receiver coaches in the game in George Stewart. George Stewart is a guy that was really largely responsible for the development of Terrell Owens in San Francisco. And so I'm starting from scratch. I'm working him every, every rep I can and practice, making sure he understands the fundamentals and the footwork necessary to play the position. And also in preseason games, I am really trying to give him a lot of work, let him get used to the speed. It's important that he gets up to speed, just dealing with the speed and the pace of the game. And then maybe... Maybe as the last guy, the last receiver on the roster in practice, going through the fall. So next year, he can be a guy to start making contr contributions. And we had him on the podcast a little while ago. We talked about working out with Anquan Bolden and Pierre Garçon, kind of learn learning some of the more nuances of the position. To me, the terminology is probably going to be, be, be the biggest challenge for him initially, just being able to get all this information down. We had a chance to talk to him about what he was asked to do and the terminology they use there. Obviously, very simplistic. But he's got another rookie there in Laquan Treadwell. Follow him around. You can learn a lot from him as well as both of you are trying to learn this playbook. The good thing in their room, it's all young. Stefan Diggs is a young player. Jairus Wright is a young player that's making his way in the league. Laquan Treadwell, as you talked to. Even Cordero Patterson. All these guys are young. It's going to be a very competitive room. The thing about Bo Rick, you hope that he maybe could be a practice squad guy. I don't know if you can slide him through, but in your mind, if you're the Minnesota Vikings, you don't have high hopes for him to play this year. You're trying to get him up to speed, so maybe he can make a contribution next year. Not only is he going to have the adjustment in the football world, this is a whole new country. Absolutely. Just making that adjustment, living here, is going to take some time for him. The one thing I love when we got a chance to visit with him was, I said, hey, you, you're going to have to cover kicks. You know, If you're going to want to get on the field eventually, that's going to be your ticket as special teams. You're going to have to go tackle people on punt, tackle people on kickoff. Are you okay with that? Remember he said, he said, no, I played safety over in Germany when I first started. I said, well, how did you like safety? And Andrew, he, he said the, the quarterbacks in Germany didn't give him very many opportunities to make plays <laughs> on the ball. So the quarterback play in Germany, we still got some room for improvement there. Yeah, go figure. But